so they can catch their breath right now. <laughs> Welcome to Missouri Western State University and Potter Hall. My name is Chris Markle, and on behalf of the students and faculty at the School of Fine Arts, we are very glad you're here to join us for live performances once again. Thank you for being here. <laughs> it's been since February of 2020 that the uh, combined choirs were able to perform on uh, last, so I'm, I'm stalling a little bit because I was made aware that on an internal calendar we had a different start time at 7.30, so I'm just kind of like stalling a little bit, but we're going to keep on going here. If you'll permit me a few housekeeping reminders, exits are clearly marked for your convenience on the sides. Please note there is no crossover in back, so you'll have to walk down and around or carefully back through the aisle should you need to leave. Masks are required on campus again. We made it a whole month before going back. Almost, we'll get there again. The restrooms are located in the lobby and then back down the main hall in the arts wing. Please make sure you silence your cell phones. Uh, you may use your cell phone camera to scan the QR code on your programs to access the translations and upcoming events. Our next song is Zagoyno Leben. Is in time. 
The translation is available by scanning the QR code on your programs. This piece is by Robert Schumann and tells the secret and magical life of the gypsies. With solos by Rita Dobson, Alexandria Bryson, Matthew Bobella, and Jacob Sokol, this is Zagoyne Lake. piece was originally written in the 1930s by a black musician named Huddy Ledbetter, also known as Lead Belly. When asked about the meaning of the song, he shared that he wrote it after watching his Uncle Bob out plowing in the fields and calling to his wife Sylvie to bring him some water. The trouble singers become the narrators telling the story between Uncle Bob and Sylvie. 
This is bring me a little water, Sylvie. not very popular when I first told them that they're going to have to do body percussion and sing at the same time, and they, they did a great job, nice job. The poet who provided the text for this next piece is Oscar Wilde. Born in Ireland and brought up in England, Oscar Wilde is best known for his play The Importance of Being Earnest and the novel The Picture of Dorian Gray. With biting wit, flamboyant dress, and glittering conversation, he became one of the best known personalities of his time. Emma Ludemer is a Missouri-born composer. With degrees from Yale and Eastman School of Music, she studied composition in Brussels. With styles ranging from traditional to experimental, she also has composed many pieces for piano. She currently lives in Santa Barbara, California, and will turn 94 next Wednesday. This piece is written in three movements, one for each of the poems, and it is appropriate etiquette for audiences to not applaud between movements. So here are three poems by Oscar Wilde.
to uh, conduct this piece, but I love the arrangements from the group Pentatonics, and I was hoping to find a chance to program this piece for one of the choir. This piece Eve, uh, became even more meaningful to me as my family moved to Kansas City from eastern Iowa this past summer. Uh, my wife is originally from Liberty, I think. <laughs> so in a way, uh, we are coming home again. Uh, I also enjoy that I got to work on this piece with chamber singers at my new home of Missouri Western. Here is Take Me Home.
Stage, I'd like to take a moment to share a couple of upcoming performances with you. A jazz band with Mr. Bob Long will uh, perform here in Potter Theater tomorrow night at 7.30, and we hope you'll consider coming back. Friday night at 7 p.m. is a senior recital for one of our seniors, Mr. Luke Armstrong. Fun, fun side note, Luke is also from the high school where, where I went to school in Dublin, Nebraska, and we had the same choir director. She's been there for, she's been there for 41 years. She's very proud of both of us. <laughs> also coming, at, coming up at First Presbyterian Church, the Chamber Singers will present our winter concert in conjunction with two local high schools. We will join Savannah High School and Tech County High School on Friday, December 10th, at 7 p.m. We hope to see you back then. Place and Day by Lloyd Fouch. Uh, there is a lot of challenging musical elements packed into that two minutes of riotous of sound. There is no audition to be in concert chorale. We take anyone who wants to sing and work with them where they are at any point in their experiences they have or none at all. I think we have a couple singers here who have never sung in a choir before, uh, so I'm very proud of them for being brave and trying something new. 
One of the things I enjoy about Concert Corral is the opportunity to come together from many programs and areas across campus to make music. As you can see from our, your programs, we have over 15 degree programs represented here in Concert Corral. Would you please raise your hand, uh, singers, if you are not a music major? Right. So would you please help me thank them for their time? And people following their passion for music while also pursuing their other academic dreams. Uh, that's just wonderful. Missouri Western has two music degrees. One is the BMA, Bachelor of Musical Arts, which is a new degree that we offer. It allows a student to kind of design a degree program that will best allow them to pursue an uh, education in uh, composition, vocal performance, music business, audio production, uh, just to name a few. There are many areas. So if you're pursuing a BMA, would you please raise your hand? Right. Congratulations. Thanks for and then we also have a Bachelor of Music Education, a BME degree. In this post-COVID landscape, it is even more important to support our future music educators and all educators. If you are a music education major, would you please raise your hand? A composer since the age of two, Gwyneth Walker, has always placed a great value on writing and broad array of genres. She has composed more than 400 commissioned works for orchestra, chamber ensemble, solo instruments, chorus, and solo voice. The lyrics for this selection are from a poem by Mae Swenson. This is I Will Be Her.
after living in a small country town in eastern Iowa for the last eight years, I knew I had to program this piece after I saw this title. This piece is a Slovak tune that tells the story of a cow herd who awakens from a nap to find that their cows have wandered away in the meadow. The cow herd begins to look for the cows calling each by name and shouting, Where are my cows? Janusha, Janusha, Dracusha, Prabusha, Madura, Dernusha, Ivana, Prabusha. sneak this in using a poem setting by Christina Rossetti and original music by Gustav Holst. Here's a lovely arrangement of In the Bleak Midwinter.
We are so glad that you came out to join us tonight. I invite you to please find me and say hello in the lobby afterward. Uh, I love meeting the family of our singers, so please stop and introduce yourself. Our last song of the evening is Jabberwocky, with words from Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll that have been brought to life in the film version of Alice in Wonderland. This nonsensical selection tells the story of a young boy who dared to face the Jabber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you guys are coming, please drive safely and have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.